subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the types of vapor compression cycles which are to be used in a refrigeration system. So let's get started. So these are the four types of vapor compression cycles which we are going to see further and drawing, drawing the pH and TS diagram for them. In wet compression, it means that I'll just simplify it. What is the meaning of wet compression? In wet compression, the vapor at the entry to the compressor, this vapor is the vapor refrigerant and at entry to the compressor it is wet, it means it is having liquid particles. So it would be called as wet compression. In dry compression, In dry compression, the refrigerant vapor at entry to the compressor is dry, that is it does not have any liquid particles like it was there in case of wet compression. Then superheating. The vapor at the entry to the compressor is in the superheated region that is it is ahead of the dry compression. In dry compression there are no liquid particles but in superheated the vapor is having even higher temperature that is it goes into the compressor at a more dry condition than dry compression. Then subcooling. In case of subcooling, the liquid refrigerant which is coming out from the condenser is cooled beyond the saturated liquid state. That is, it will go further away from the saturated liquid state. And in the next or we can say the next videos or the further videos, we are going to see each of the processes in detail. At the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.